some amazing footage that we're having here today. And up next, we have two of Georgia's finest. Again, TA Zanos and LIT Big Lou. I'm expecting Luigi versus Lucas, which definitely not a matchup you see too often, but just from my own experiences and seeing these two players play, and from my own experiences of seeing these characters play, um, I think Lucas actually has the advantage in this matchup just because Luigi has to get in. And PK Fire and Zare are definitely two amazing zoning tools that I'm sure Xanos is going to use to the full extent to keep that Luigi at bay. But game one here on Smashville, let's get it started. Alright, <laughs> not too much going on right now. We have, of course, the first move we see coming out, those Zares. Uh, Luna's content to just kind of walk around, widow his way in, do nothing, quote unquote, in neutral, just to figure out what he's going to do. But as soon as he gets in, a meaty 37% on TA Zanos. Let's see what's going to happen here to return the favor. Ooh, I like that. That was a really, really quick K magnet. And I think he hit almost 15% off that. That's amazing. Oh, this could be death. That is definitely death. That amazing aim with the PK fire is going to put Big Blue in a bad position. He's going to clip his jump, put him in a position where he has to side B. Zango's going to capitalize immediately on that. And now the ball is in Big Blue's court to make it make a comeback. Now, my question is, once he, if he gets him to the killing percents, how is he going to get this killing? I don't imagine Xanos is going to fish for too much now, especially with this bigger percent lead. No reason to go for any big meaty grab. Just going to play it safe with PK Fires and Zares. We see Lunas coming with the up smash. He wants to kill, but that's not going to do it at this percent. It's a little too early. Okay, mix-ups. So, what happened right there was Xanos was shielding, expecting Luigi to th throw out a second aerial. Lunas playing one step ahead. It's just going to throw out that down air, beta shield. He's just going to whiff it barely and then immediately fight off fall and grab. So good stuff to him recognizing that Xanos was shielding and that he was not going to eat that aerial for free. Alright, got a forward throw. What's the setup here? Oh, not going to really get anything off of it. There's Lucas' is friend in this matchup. Now, I know where Lunas wants to go for it and he's very privy to going for the Cyclone Gimp. However, Xanos with that Zare is going to make it really, really, really difficult for him. Up throw not going to do it, but it's going to put him pretty high in the sky. Alright, and Xanos doing a great job of just, again, walling out Luigi, forcing him to play his game. Up throw... Oh, wow, okay, up throw's going to do it at that percent. Um, but with a 100%, 106% lead from Xanos, I'm not sure what else... Uh, what Lunas can do here to make this comeback. That's the start though. 26% is definitely a great start. 36. Now here's a super scary thing. If Xanos throws out a grab at the wrong time, I feel an upbeat from I feel an upbeat's coming. But no, not gonna even happen. Xanos is gonna close it out with his own grab right there. Uh, so good stuff to him. Getting that early percent lead, recognizing the situation that Lunas was in, and stuffing that first stock immediately. So since Lunas was, ha or excuse me, Big Blue had to play behind that entire game, it made it much, much more difficult for him to get in. Sorry about that uh, small mishap. Back with game two. Okay. Starting on battle code here. Uh, interesting choice by Big Lou. Uh, I guess he wants some platforms to help him juggle Lucas a bit. But immediately off the start, Big Lou recognizing that, hey, my main answer to this PK fire and this air is going to be to run it in the power shield. Luigi's dash grab is, you know, amazing. So, definitely going to use that to his advantage and try to use a power shooting mechanic to get himself in there but again Zano's not really giving him the chance and opportunity to get in to do anything even with two power shows still having a difficult time punishing Ooh. 
Oh, but no, unfortunately, Perfect Garp's gonna eat him some damage. Nice back here. Oh, Luna's cutting off options. Where's he gonna land? Okay, smart choice by Xanos. Making it 50 50. If he lands on the platform, he may get punished. If he lands on the ground, he may get punished. But Big Lou has to guess both places, so he couldn't cover both at once. So good stuff on Xanos abusing that back. Alright, nice grab. Alright, up smash again. It's not gonna do it to 100%, but just gonna get the damage in where you can. I respect it. And again, this matchup seems so hard for Luigi and neutral just because he can't throw out short hop arrows as he pleases. He can't fire stuffs at immediately, and so does there. Uh oh. Okay. Safe from the ledge. Smash is not gonna do it. It's a little too slow, especially when it comes from the back of his head. And I feel like Lunas is getting a little hungry off stage. He's not really overextending too much, but he's definitely getting more aggressive on the ledge, and that's gonna cost him. Four throw. Alright. Nice forward air. It's gonna chop him off. But a great angle is gonna save him, but not from that up smash. So Lunas, Big Lou's still back in this game, still doing a great job of holding on, especially given the fact that it just feels as if he can't really do much in neutral. And I imagine that was an accident from Xanos, but that accident from Lucas I'll say it's not going to cost him too big. Luigi's not that big of an edge guarder, and Lucas has an amazing recovery, so definitely still in this fight. I'm just racking up the percent here and there. PK fire after PK fire, border after border. It's building up to 60. But... Big Lou answering back with a couple of dabs and putting him back at 45. Now this is why I'm afraid. Big Lou is the player to go for a hard read and to go for a up B at percent that you may or may not expect. Ooh, you don't want to do that. But Big Lou doing a great job of capitalizing on it. Grab. Not gonna get the kill. But it's gonna put Big Lou in a bad position. In a position where he needs the air dodge to live. Oh yeah, definitely a bait from Xanos. Great bait right there. Hasn't thrown out a down smash at all. Is that gonna do it? Yes, that's gonna do it. And Xanos takes out Big Lou 2-0. Who has to play Neos? Uh, oh, okay. Would you want to pull up the bracket? If you have it. Thank you. CC, you and player one. Alright, so up next on stream, we have Typo CC versus...